Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Toy from Planning and Teaching. Today is a different type of plan with me video and I'll tell you all about it in just a second when we jump into our Franken planned planner. But before we get into that, I wanted to show you guys this tape dispenser again. If you remember it from my haul video, my recollections haul video, um, I didn't tell you guys how to take it apart because I really didn't know myself. All I did was take it out of the packaging that night. Okay, so it comes, and I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you guys can see what I'm doing. All right, so it comes with washi already in it, and I've already taken that washi out so that I can set this up the way I want it. So anyway, one side pops off, and it's the side that has like these little grooves in it, okay? And it just pops, let's see, yeah, it just pops right off like so, and then you can put your washi in it. I have my washi all ready to go in a tape dispenser. So I'm gonna try this out with an old, um, wide tape dispenser strip that I have once I've used all the tape on it and just see if the other washi would fit. I'm sure that it will because it's basically set up the exact same way. So this is a good way to store your washi and you can kind of categorize it, put it in by color, and you can just have these set up around so you can pull from there. So yeah, so I just wanted to show you guys that really quick. So now let's get into right, the plan. So as you guys here. know, this is my Franken planned planner and it has three separate planners in here. It has a home section, a budget section, and a social media section. And the social, social media section was supposed to be my trendsetter. Well, I started planning it, you guys. And the name of this video, if you haven't already looked at it, is what to do when your spread goes wrong. My spread went terribly wrong. So I'm gonna show you guys how I'm gonna fix it. Started kind of trying to work. Uh, within my planner and I'm going to lose a ton of stickers But I started working within this planner to get it to look a certain way and it didn't quite turn out like I wanted it to So today I'm going to cover these up and change some things. Okay, so I am going to Look at this teal color here And I'm just going to put this teal color from here to here See if I can get that to lay down just right. Yep. And the good thing about this, it already comes with like a little cut that you can use here. And I want to fix this side. It's a little crooked. And then I'm just going to fix these little corners here. I'm going to do that for these next two areas, except for that bottom strip. I'm going to leave that bottom strip pink. So now that covers up where I kind of messed up and drew like lines across trying to make it work and it didn't work, so yeah. All right, so now I'm going to pull out a sticker book. Now you can use one of two sticker books for, for the effect that I'm trying to get. Or well, one of three. You can use the um, watercolor sticker book the color story sticker book or the color coordinating sticker book and I'm going to use color coordinating today but the reason why I'm using this is because like the whole sheet will be enough for your um, like it'll all kind of go together so I'm gonna find one in here that I want to use Yeah. 
I like this. So I'm just going to grab a couple of different um, boxes and kind of lay them down all over. Now here's where we run into our first problem. I cannot cover this little area right here with this box, but I know how to fix it. So just hold on. I'm not going to put anything right here, so I'm going to use this one. I'm going to use this one right here up until this line there. So it's going to be right up against this gold and teal one right there. And then I'm going to use my cutter and Perfect. All right. That's a little crooked right there. So let me even it up just a little bit. Okay. There we go. So I like the way all of the top is color coordinated. So going back to that same color and on the color coordinated and let me show you guys this really quick on the color coordinated you have two sheets this one has some gold in it and this one just has like um, it's, it's gold but it's not gold foil I'm going to do the same thing, just putting down some more boxes, kind of go with my thing here. That one's a little crooked, so I'm going to lay it down a little bit better because it's a little crooked. So, put it right under there. And I'm going to need one more box. So let's look in the color story and see if we got a box that's going to kind of match. We have this one that says the best is yet to come. I'm going to put that here. And these are a little bit longer than those, so this one is going to cover that up completely, just like I want it to, okay? Um, then I'm just going to use this plan sticker here to cover this. Awesome. So now... How am I going to fix this little piece right here? And let me zoom in and show you guys what I'm talking about. So I don't really like thick washi. I don't. But in this instance, it's going to work out just great for me. So I'm going to take this thick washi that says I love you. And I'm going to lay a piece right about there there to there and then i'm going to and it fell at the right spot i'm going to cut right there i'm 
you guys can see. So I cut right there. And then I'm going to borrow move from Natalie. And I'm going to make a flag. So this is not even, but it's easily fixed. Going back into my color coordinating, I'm going to grab this sticker that says Make Today Awesome, and I'm going to layer it right on top of there. So let me take you out so you can see what that looks like. Then I'm going to grab this sticker that says Focus. I'm going to put it right up here to kind of cover up that little hole. Okay. Then I'm going to just start grabbing a few boxes and just laying them in some random areas here to kind of tie the rest of this together. And, and I can tie in that pink from the bottom by placing this here. It says, Hello Weekend. How cute is that? And it's a little crooked. So let me, let me pull it up and see if I can get it up. And you guys, when you are laying down a sticker, the goal is to place it right on that, right on the line that you're putting it on and lay that down first. And that way you won't have to worry about pulling it up as much as I do. I know this, but I don't do it all the time. So there we go. So there's hello. And I'm going to put another sticker there to kind of help that out a little bit. And I'm going to take up this Love What You Do sticker and I'm going to lay it right there just to kind of cover up some of this white space here. Then I have this sticker for some notes and I'm going to put that there and it's cricket. So I'm going to put it right here. Okay. And then I'm going to take up this sticker that says today, I don't need it. I'm going to put another quote in here, but before I put that, I'm going to find another um, two column sticker if I can find one that kind of goes with my theme of like teal and gold and a little bit of pink in there and black of course I find a way to put like black in just about every spread that I have sometimes you win and sometimes you learn love that all right, so then I need to put another box there and I can tie in those florals from up there with this with this one here. All right, and then I'm just about done. There's a few things I want to continue adding. Um, and yes, I know it's a lot of white space down here, but there's a reason for that. I'm going to place some flags in these colors down here. Okay, so I have that one there, and there's a white one, some teal in it, some gold, a gold one, with hearts in there, and I'm going to lay this one down a little bit lower, because I'm going to use those headers in just a second, because it comes with some headers. Well, it doesn't come with headers. They're headers on the page that I can use. And I'm going to use this white one with circles. Okay. Then I'm going to put goals right here 
and it doesn't have to be perfect guys if it doesn't completely cover it up but it should cover it so I have gold there then I have let's see um jot it down here And then I have uh, important right here. And I'm going to put another, and a don't forget, right there. So yes, you guys, you can easily fix a spread when it doesn't quite turn out like you wanted it to. Now what I want to do is I want to add a little bit more of a floral thing if I can. Something with some flowers over here. Just to kind of tie that in. So let me go back into my color storybook which is where I got those florals from. And I'm going to put it on I'm gonna pull up this grocery shopping sticker and save it because I don't need it at the moment. And then I'm gonna pop up this sticker that is gold and white with my New Year's Day on it. And I'm gonna reposition it and just lay it straight to make room for another sticker. And then I'm going to just grab this sticker here that says hello sunshine and put it right there and then for the final move I'm back in my color coordinating sticker book just gonna grab a few um, circle stickers and make um, a sticker cluster. Right there in this corner here. that's gonna wrap up how I fixed a spread a spread that went bad um, so this is what I did to complete it um, so really quickly let me tell you how my trendsetter is changing already so this is going to be my social media section that is the live life lovely what I was using it for last year social media that's what I'm gonna use it for this year so my goal is to decorate the top well list on the top and the bottom and decorate the middle I think that's really pretty how people have been doing that so that's what I'm going to do and as far as like my monthly spread I'm going to basically um, put the name of videos that I'm going to be doing throughout the month so when I come up with video names and titles that's what I'm gonna put and I'm gonna indicate which planner I'm going to be planning in so that's what I'm gonna do um, and I'm gonna do that off camera it's not really something I'm going to share but um, that's what I'll use the monthly section for. And then I will plan for YouTube at the top and Instagram at the bottom. And then I'll decorate the middle from now on. So since this week is going to be kind of light, I'm just going to make some goals for this month on this page. Um, even though I am shooting videos this week, um, this, this one was just to get me started. Just to kind of figure out what I'm working with. And I know now um, how I can fix this and make this my own. And I really love the way this came out, you guys. And it looks great. So, um, I will be doing a spread next week in this planner. So, stay tuned for that. And so, let's talk about how this is changing. So, now this first part is my social media planner. The second part is my budget planner. 
and I have not set up a goal for the month yet. I have not done any of that because I'm a teacher. I've already gotten paid for January, um, so I should not have used the January um, tab. So what I'll do is just take this whole month out and change this out from um, January to April. So when you see this again, it will be starting in February with the month at a glance. Just because I've already paid my bills in January, so I want to start my budget in February. All right, so then finally, we get back to your girl back here, and that is the trendsetter. So once again, the trendsetter is a monthly spread, then it has some goals, and then it has just daily checklists. So this is going to be a separate video, but I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to use the trendsetter as my home planner. So thanks so much for watching, you guys. Keep God first in everything you do. Click that subscribe button. Stay tuned for this next video that's going to be coming up after this one. And click the bell for notifications. And as always, happy planning and teaching, you guys. Bye.